What's up, 31 fam? How you doing? Welcome back to Shopcast, episode 55. This week's movie was very obviously my pick, Forbidden <laughs> World. Um, there should be a picture of this on the screen by now. Enough said. All right, everybody, have a good night. But uh, yeah, this movie was... Um, I was watching a list of, I believe it was top 10 like lesser known sci-fi horror movies like it was a kind of a particular list and i thought i don't know much about these kinds of movies because it's not my personal favorite i like underwater stuff i like science fiction stuff but i don't know a lot about it my stuff is more slashery and you know things like that big monsters and stuff so i was like oh cool and so i hit i hit play on the, on the video and like the first three movies are were ones i had heard of but as it got like closer to the top of the list this stuff i had never even heard of and this was like way up on the list, like number three or four. So it was way up there. And it was like, the, their first thing they said was like, do not take this movie seriously. And they're like, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. And I was like, that's cool. And then the, 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 the runtime was like really short. And you know how I feel about that. I really gravitate towards short movies. And then I found out it was a Cormac's Classic release on Blu-ray. And I thought, that's cool, man. I like those. They usually have like, I wouldn't call them good movies, but they usually have fun things a lot that I enjoy watching. So I just bought it, and then I, I told Carissa, I said, hey, you want to watch like a like a Star Wars Aliens ripoff? And she's like, yeah, kind of. And I was like, all right. We, dude, within like 10 minutes, we were like, what in the hell are we watching? <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, it's a, it's a basically, it literally, to me, it feels like a amalgamation of The Thing, Alien, and Star Wars. It's just like those three movies, they picked out the shit they liked, and we're like, all right, throw it in a script and here you go because like within the first 30 seconds you get a Boba Fett storm ship or uh storm I almost said starship trooper uh stormtrooper like weird combo yeah. piece I mean mm -hmm. yeah you know. awesome awesome like space battle dude it's in the music's all like I don't know like over the top uh like I don't know snobby but it's but it works like it's like this weird oh. classical stuff it was classical. I, actually, it made me think of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Is that what uh, it was reminding you of? Because I couldn't put a finger on it because I don't know much about that movie, but I've seen chunks of it. Yeah. I haven't ever seen the whole movie, I don't think. Yeah, it's all classical music. So I, th I think that was pretty much a reference to that. That's but awesome. That, that's definitely what I <laughs> felt when I was watching in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, the movie is so ridiculous. That it's, it's, you remember that? Anybody seen that movie, Life? That's what this uh, movie reminded me of a little bit. It's like this alien they got on the ship and it just kind of grows out of control and just starts murking everybody. And it's, yeah. dude, what about the, <laughs> yo, hey, mad spoiler alert coming, guys. So just, <laughs> if you don't want to watch, if you don't want to hear about this movie, stop now because this shit is hilarious. What about when they were on, the, uh, <laughs> they were outside on that like uh, mountain thing and it was very Star Trek-esque mm -hmm. and he shoots yeah. the thing and then all of a sudden yeah. it's like this big balloon that falls down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, I was like clapping and cheering. I was like, that's amazing. Because, dude, <laughs> you don't make a movie like this unless you love making movies, bro. This is why I like these garbage-ass movies, because I know people only make them because they want to make them. There's probably no money involved. Like, you're not getting paid very well to do this. Yeah, I, well, this was, that was kind of Roger Corman's thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely a B-movie guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, that, that if, 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 if you like science fiction stuff and you want to take three movies that are amazing and then meld them together and give it a very low budget dude this is exactly the kind of movie you'd like because that's what it is it's those three movies there's tons of stuff taken from all three of them and they just have a small budget and it's people having a lot of fun and it's got lots of gore and and, and pretty crazy practical effects in my opinion for what i would imagine is a minuscule budget if any at all and there was some really fun cheesy 80s graphics in there and lots of titties. Yeah, I was going to say, you're forgetting like, like the, the Skinamax. Yeah, bro. This is definitely <laughs> a USA Up All Night edited version. Like, they would have cut out all of it, and it would have been like a 40-minute movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have I have one question. What's a ding whopper? They said I have it no like idea, sir. three or four times in the movie. <laughs> Dude, I have a question too. What's up with old buddy laying in that little pod thing at the very beginning? Looks like he got mold all over him, and then it's gone, and nobody tells you where it went or why. What happened? What was that? Was he just real dirty? I don't know, but it was weird. 
because I thought the whole movie was gonna be based around that when I first saw it when it first started, and then all of a sudden it's just gone. I, I have a feeling all these Corman movies are probably longer, but they're like, no, they gotta be like 80 minutes long, so they just cut the shit out of them. <laughs> Dude, probably. We're gonna get a director's cut box set one day and find out that they're, they're all two hours and 12 minutes long. You're like, what? The Snyder probably. Cut. <laughs> Dude, yes. But I mean, the movie's pretty simple, straightforward. It's not complicated. It's just. If you like that genre of stuff, it's a fun, low-budget B-movie. And if you don't like it, you won't enjoy it because that's exactly what it is. Did you catch all the shit in the background I was telling you to watch for? Uh, refresh my memory. Wait, what? All the fucking to-go boxes and egg no. crates. What? I didn't notice that. Are you serious? Josh, yeah, and I watched it, that. I watched it on the projector, too. <laughs> no. I'm legit shocked right now. That was my favorite part of the whole movie. Dude, oh my god. Okay, guys, hopefully I can find a picture of this online and put it up for y'all right now. <laughs> In the background, dude, that was the first thing that Chris and I started cracking up about. The whole wall is to-go boxes. It's the big thing with the two little compartments, and they're set like this. Yeah. So it's like a brick wall, and it's all to-go boxes. <laughs> if you look at the top, you can see the little tabs where you poke it through. You can, they didn't awesome. cut them off. They're still there. And then there's egg crates <laughs> all over the walls, and they're all painted black. Dude, yes, that's my favorite part of this movie is that they were so broke that they were like, yo, somebody go to McDonald's, get a shitload of styrofoam boxes. We got to make a background. Like the whole hallway is full of them. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> you pretty... didn't catch that. I thought for sure you were, you were going to roast them for it, Josh. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I felt like watching this movie like it was like watching Spaceballs or something. It's just Dude, like I, a straight sure. up parody. <laughs> Dude, that's the best part is that it wasn't, but it was. And that's why yeah. this is one of those movies that are so bad it's good because you th it, it could have easily been a parody, but they, they definitely weren't making a parody. They were making a movie. And it's like, yeah. and it's like, dude, and then, and then, well, they're making like a movie slash porn, whatever. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> definitely like, softcore. <laughs> dude, I got a, I got a gore score I'm going to do for this too, for people that want like a shorter, shorter form video. And like. 80% of the points came from tits. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's quite a few. There's yeah, dude. Few. And those girls were smoking hot. Like, yes. Man. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. about them heels, them super practical footwear in that, in that spaceship? <laughs> yeah. Tori walked in while I was watching this and I told her what it was. She's like, they're wearing heels, huh? <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> She's like, so Randy made you watch this garbage, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, take a, I, I know I know who picked this one. <laughs> I mean, they take a they take a shower at the very end and then just, just wear their bathrobes for the rest of the movie. I, uh, <laughs> the one does because the other yes. one dies. Oh, I, dude. I, I just want to know, like, <laughs> yeah, the shower thing would just crack me up because it's like, oh, we have to stand just like this and both be completely nude for the, right? for me to wash her hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we certainly can't wear a bathing suit while we're washing hair that doesn't no, work not at all <laughs> did you notice who the first guy to die was i'm trying to remember uh, uh he's the only was, legend bonus they it, get in this whole movie on my score score sheet it's the dude that plays buck from like kill bill and or is it pulp okay. fiction i'm my name is buck and i'm here to fuck the guy yeah. that drives the pussy wagon that's that guy that's kill bill right <laughs> it's a kill bill it might it probably kill bill but yeah, when I saw him, I was like, man, I know that guy from somewhere. Dude, it took me like the whole movie to figure out who he was. Okay, I didn't recognize him. I checked it to make sure because I was like, man, am I wrong? He was like, because he's very young in this movie. But uh, I was cracking up once I realized that's who it was. I was like, dude, this is probably this guy probably looks back on this and goes, uh, dude, that wasn't me. That was like my cousin, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't make this movie. I loved it, man. I freaking – and I – I expected y'all to like laugh at it and not take it too seriously, but I fucking love this movie. It's not something that I'm thinking is like no top ten shit for me, but it is hella fun to watch. No, yeah, I, I think it's funny that it, like you're the, studying this movie and like <laughs> and looking at the background and shit. Like that's the shit that I would be doing in like other movies. <laughs> but no, dude, that's exactly not what this I do. One. <laughs> no, because I want to yeah. know how they make these movies for ten grand. Because I can probably raise ten grand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. but, uh, Josh had to get just drunk enough to to not recognize any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was I was I was really I was really hoping that you would catch that because I thought it was so fucking funny because I was like, dude, like they probably looked at it when they were done. And I'm like, this looks great. 
because it really did look pretty good for what it was. But uh, yeah, yeah, it looked decent. I mean, <laughs> dude, how much? I was talking to Chris. I was like, how much work was it to get all those damn things put on the wall? And then imagine you got some dude like some extra horsing around with his friend, and he pushes him into the wall and crushes thirty six <laughs> of them. And you're like, fuck! <laughs> and you got to redo them, redo the whole wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was just I was expecting something like really bad. I was expecting like you know the room or troll two or something like Sir, that. Sir Troll Two is fantastic. But I mean <laughs> it's a legitimate bad movie. Yeah, it's pretty awful. I d I don't Oh think, my god. I don't think this is that bad of a movie. It definitely has some bad stuff and some very low budget well, this doesn't things. this doesn't touch the room. That movie is, yes. and I haven't even watched that movie, and I know how bad that is. But yeah, yeah I I absolutely love this. I want to say thank you for Fuck yeah for that making us watch happy. this. This was awesome, dude. I had so much fun watching this movie. I I knew <laughs> the moment I got done watching it the first time, I knew that I was gonna have y'all watch this with me. I was like, shit, I hope Josh doesn't get too mad. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> I don't really like to make anybody irritated by movies I pick. I just I no. thought. We watch a lot of serious movies. You know, even even I pick a lot of serious stuff on this show. And I was like, you know what? This will break up the, the seriousness and we'll get, we can get back to that in a week or two. And I just thought, because it's so just fun and goofy. Like, it just, like the, guy, the main guy is ugly as shit. How's he getting laid so much, bro? Like, what's going on <laughs> right. here, guy? Yeah. Well, when that one girl, like... she's like, we don't see very many men here. Blam! I'm like, yeah. <laughs> get it, girl. Girl power. Yeah, he, 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 there's the, the a long extended sex scene with the one girl. And then he goes into the uh, steam room and the other <laughs> girl's like, get out of here. And then all of a sudden she's just like pulling her clothes off. Like, she's like, fair is fair. Pull off your clothes. And I was like, yeah. oh, <laughs> God damn, camera's blurry. She, she changed her, uh, she changed her opinion very quickly. Yes. <laughs> right. She saw that dick print in his pants and was like, never mind. Come on, bro. <laughs> you got that BDE, son. Uh, yeah, I was I was a little worried that I was just going to like have to suffer through this. But um, yeah, I was laughing all the way through it. It was fun. That's all I wanted. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily need you to fall in love with it, but I wanted you to at least enjoy yourself while you're watching it. Cause it's just yeah. a silly fun movie i'm looking for something else that's like you know you know what i was what i was looking for when i discovered this was i was looking for stuff that was more like deep rising because that movie is more action-packed and i think that's how i stumbled across this one was looking for stuff like that because i got that one on kino lorber and i was all like oh this is awesome dude because that one's like a legit big budget action movie and i mm -hmm. stumbled across this one and, and uh there's a couple of other ones on the list that i got i've got a couple more movies that i own that I bought with this one that were also in that same kind of B-movie sci-fi horror genre. And I haven't watched them yet, so I don't know if they're any good, but um, you know, I've got so many movies, so it's hard to keep up. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just glad you had fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I would I would, I would, would take more of these. These are, the, well, these are the kind of bad movies I love. Well, that's amazing because I have plenty <laughs> not, of- uh, Not too many, Chris. Come on. <laughs> Be careful. I mean, not every like, no, we don't want to have two out of three weeks like this every, every month. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't even want that many of them, but I no. definitely see, I agree with what you're saying. And I, 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 I feel the same. I, I want, I want, but I want to find like ones that fit this mold. I don't want to find yeah. ones that are just garbage. Like I've got yeah. plenty of that stuff too. I mean, I've got, like, I almost brought up SRS video stuff because some of it's on Amazon. And I was like, you know what? Let me sift through that and like maybe find like the better one from that, from that. Yeah. Uh, catalog because if I watch four or five and I find one that's really actually pretty decent, I'll throw that one in there. But I don't want to give you something that I that I haven't even watched. I have no idea how bad it is. It ends up being on video filmed with like, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't even mind that stuff. I've got three or four movies that I bought that were all filmed on video, and one of them was just really bad, but the other ones were fairly okay. And uh, you know, for what they were, I was kind of surprised that I enjoyed them as much as I did. <laughs> I think it's funny that. Even when they sell you Blu-rays, they come in their full screen. <laughs> oh. Dude, I don't even think that they're high def at, like, at all. I think they just took a VHS copy and then just put it on a Blu-ray disc and we're like, Blu-ray, yeah. here you go. <laughs> There's definitely some Blu-rays like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had to like, uh, change your TV aspect ratio to get it to play like not <laughs> stretched or something. I've had to go back and change 
stuff like that. Because if you put a full screen DVD into your player that's a modern, it'll stretch it and fill the screen for you. And you're like, son of a bitch, this looks yeah. so weird. Why does it yeah, really look like a fucking M&M? Or, or like, yeah, a, uh, like not an M&M, uh, yeah, an M&M. They look all boom. But uh, tiny little legs. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> um, oh, dude, somebody came up to the store today and they were like, what was that? What was I watching? Uh, oh, I was watching uh, Silver Bullet. <laughs> and somebody's like, okay. they're like, what are you watching? And I was like, Silver Bullet. And it's like, is that, uh, is that, uh, what's his name with the big chiclet teeth? Uh, Gary Busey. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it's Gary Busey, and they were like, <laughs> "You like this?" And I was like, "I love that." Yes, it's Gary Busey, man. Dude, his <laughs> teeth are so big. Uh, yeah, dude. Even his kids' teeth are bigger. I think Jake Busey's got giant teeth, dude. Yeah. Now that's a bad movie. That's I. There are only a handful of movies I haven't been able to finish. Dude, Ginger Dead Man. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that one. I want to give it another go, but. I didn't make it through that one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, so, so let's create, let's create this movie real quick. And I want to talk about something else that I watched and then we'll, we'll cut this video short, man. It's, we all got stuff to do this weekend and, uh, yeah. this movie wasn't too complicated. So there's no sense in talking about it for an hour. Um, I flat out gave it a nine out of 10 strictly <laughs> again on enjoyment level. It does have nothing to do with quality of film. I don't judge my movies based on that very often. And if I do, I, I make sure and let you know. But on enjoyment alone, I gave it a 9 out of 10 because it's so ridiculous. And honestly, the to-go crate things made me just, that was like, on my on my value level. But uh, what terrible score did you give it, Josh? Uh, six. Dude, I'm psyched. I was, I was like, just be above five. Just be above five. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. man, what about you, Chris? I'm gonna I'm gonna need to go rewatch it for the for the the to go crates. Oh, you're um, gonna laugh your ass off, dude. There's so many of them. But yeah, uh, I wanted I, I wanted to say eight, but I feel like that's a little too high, so I'm just gonna go seven. Oh, quit but, being a pussy, dude. <laughs> it's a great I, movie. Yeah, it's it was it was fun. I, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I think Chris is just scared. He's like, I love this movie, but I can't give it a good grade because then I'm gonna look like a dumbass. Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> no, like I mean, I gave it a fucking in, nine. What does that say in, about me? <laughs> for for pure enjoyment, eight. But that's 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 how I grade movies these days. Just pure enjoyment, unless yeah. it's like something that's like cinematically crazy, like insane, and then I'll give it like a nine five or whatever, and go because it was just like Parasite. That got like a nine five, but it was across the board, man. Enjoyment and quality of film. This is why I make sure and tell people yeah. like, no, I give it this grade because I grade my stuff on enjoyment and that's it because I don't want people to think I'm insane. Oh, you thought that the you know, acting was a nine? No, dude, the acting was like a four. That's what I liked about it. Like <laughs> they tried <laughs> and still failed. It was awesome. But uh, it wasn't that bad though. You're right though. It was. There could have been a much larger disaster happening with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Like I thought yeah. the acting was actually- It was fairly of, decent for people that were not- now anybody famous it looked like they were actually like, dude it looked like porn actresses yeah getting a regular movie for a change yeah that's exactly yeah. probably what it was do what that's exactly what it was i'm sure dude for at least those two chicks were yeah uh okay oh, so right. now that we're done with that real quick before we go i watched this movie um i did a top five horror on hulu list recently i just dropped it today or i guess by the time you see this it'll be a few days ago probably um on that, on my honorable mentions, I put a movie called Spontaneous. Have either of y'all heard of this? No, but I watched your video today, so. Oh, cool, thanks. Um, so <laughs> I was watching this movie and I paused it uh, probably midway through the third act and I told Carissa, I said, I have this like idea that I wanna put in the ether before this movie ends. So that if it does happen, I can say, <gasps> I called it even though I knew it wasn't going to happen. But, so in the movie, literally, with no explanation, high school kids start exploding. Dude, and I don't mean like, and then they die. No, I mean their whole body explodes and fucking <laughs> blood goes everywhere. And it's like they took buckets of the shit and just dumped it on people. <laughs> it's amazing, right? So I'm watching it, and all I could think of was how great would because they don't really talk about what's going on with it they don't have it they're trying to figure out what's going on nobody knows and i don't remember them ever coming up with an explanation so i thought how great would it be if at the end of the movie 
when they're sitting there and everybody's all like, oh, what's happening? The camera pans back, right? And it just shows a hallway. And then you hear this little squeaking noise, squeaking noise. And then fucking that tire from rubber pokes its head around the corner <laughs> of the hall. And you're like, oh shit, it's from the same universe. Like, bro, oh they missed an opportunity there. Because that's all I could think of when people started exploding that they did it exactly like rubber. It was the same noise. It was like this, and it was just blood. I mean, it was so clearly like jelly. It was just the nastiest looking shit. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, man. And there's a twist in that movie. that They throw you a curveball, like the second act, that I was so excited when it happened. I'm not going to say anything about it. But when I saw it, I was like, dude, yes. Because so many of these big productions don't have balls, dude. They won't do something that might disappoint an audience. That's what you're supposed to do in a movie where people are dying everywhere. How in the world would it make any sense for a happy ending to come about? Or a this to happen? Or this guy to make it to this ending thing and save the girl or whatever? Like, you know, that that yeah. that's reserved for stuff like, uh, oh man, think about the one with the video game people and the, the girl with the purple hair, Scott Pilgrim. Like, oh, that's oh, reserved for yeah. that kind of movie, man. Like, that's where the happy endings things happen, you know? And, and they're supposed to in those kind of movies. But in horror movies are not, and this isn't an ending thing I'm talking about. It's just a curveball that you don't see coming, and you're like, "That's amazing." Uh, yeah, but when I saw the tr the trailer, I, I saw I was scrolling through, and I was like, "I was like spontaneous. Why is this in horror? Because it's got like a heart and all this shit." And I was like, and then I looked at the little synopsis, and it was like two sentences. It was like blah 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 blah. blah. High school kids start to explode, and I was like wait does that mean they really explode and i like hit the trailer and within like 10 seconds i was like no i'm watching this right now i didn't even wait i just hit play and uh yeah not a great movie by any stretch of the word but hella fun you tell me a little fucking rich rich girls in high school just start talking shit and then explode and i don't i'm not supposed to enjoy that i'm talking about get out of here awesome. y'all watch anything else this week i know y'all been bo both been really busy especially you josh been working crazy hours yeah. or it's been raining a lot you've been working much yeah yeah. yeah in the rain <laughs> dude that voice was so so good it's, it's been a horrible week i'm Just really horrible, sorry to hear that horrible week yeah i actually watched two other things this week nice um i watched a movie called on the silver globe i've been meaning to watch it uh or that movie possession that we had talked about like a couple of months ago um with hey, uh, God, what's his name josh will probably chime in with his name uh Oh, uh, Sam Neil. Yes, the Sam Neil. Oh, nice. And it's a girl that's possessed or whatever. Anyway, that director directed another movie, and it's like some weird sci-fi epic thing. I was like, mm, that's my kind of shit. I want to watch that. And it was the longest, most boring, pretentious, <laughs> that's awesome. like yeah. artsy. Like it, it never got finished. So they oh, had to really? like splice a bunch of scenes in later but all the dialogue was Ew. just like weird philosophical uh, just mumbo jumbo like none of it made any sense so it was very cool looking but nah not for me I'm trying to find something that i bought i wanted to tell you what i picked up josh did you, you didn't get around to watch anything else um i i watched pat garrett and billy the kid which is a western um which is really good uh, I'm going through Sam Peckinpah's movies right now. Um, well, I, I picked up a couple of things. What, what, what else has he done? The Wild Bunch. Oh, okay, um, okay. The Getaway. He did a oh, yeah, he did a couple okay. movies w with uh, um, Steve McQueen. Yeah, I don't recognize uh, that name, but I know those movies. Uh, big one. I just bought it on Criterion. It's called Straw Dogs with Dustin Hoffman. Oh, I've seen that. It's a home invasion movie. It's yeah. like super controversial because of like some abuse scenes and stuff in it. No, I've seen Straw Dogs. Damn. I don't know that guy's name. I've never heard I don't recall ever hearing his name. I don't, dude, you know, I don't do directors as well. I'm starting to kind of learn them, but that's something yeah. that's going to take me a while to remember directors names because there's so many because there's so many fantastic movies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was gonna, you know, I told you I was gonna probably do Park Chan book for my next video, but I kind of tripped into a hole yeah. with this direct director, so I might do him next. Just That's what's up, man. You got plenty of time. You do both of them whenever you get the time. Well, I feel like I, I just, I, I wasn't, I didn't really mean to just start watching these movies, but I watched something and I was like, 
oh, I kind of want to watch this. And I just kind of like fell into a hole. So that's like, the best uh, way to do it, man. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, maybe, let me just do a video on this. Cause that's what I'm interested in right now. Yeah. So that's cool though. Shit. I ain't mad. Um, I don't think I've ever seen any of his movies. I bought a couple of movies this week. Let me look at my prime thing and make sure I tell you what exactly what it is. Uh, First off, that Ricky O, or whatever the fuck it's called, yeah, I have to have that. Like, I, it's not. <laughs> dude, I, I I watched a video on it, and that's how I heard about it. So I had no idea it was getting released on Blu-ray. I had no idea. Um, have you yeah, seen that's... anything about this movie before? It looks amazing. Yeah, I I listen to a podcast where they review bad movies. And this is not a bad movie, bad sir. Movie. This looks like it might be one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> this is right up your alley from yeah, from bro. I know about it. I saw stuff and I was like, oh my goodness. There's a part where the dude like punches this guy's arm clean off. He's just like, he just <laughs> hits him in his forearm and his arm fucking explodes. I was like, yes, what is this? And then there's a guy who like, they make this guy eat a plate of shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Dude, I don't know where my brain decided that this is the movies I wanted to watch, but it's been a long time that I've been watching stuff like this, man. My buddy found a movie on VHS that I so was jealous of. You ever heard of that movie Grind from like the early 2000s? Yes. Sweet Lou? Fucking Sweet Lou? Yeah. Anyways, it's very hard to find that movie. Um, so I picked up... I bought one thinking of you, Josh. I don't know if you've got this one or not, but you probably do, or you've probably seen it at least. Um, I've picked up, not this one, I picked up one called Dead Time Stories. I picked up, uh, I feel like I've already seen this one. I think I have, and I just wanted to have a hard copy of it. Uh, the Wolf of Snow Hollow. I think I've already seen that movie. Um, yeah, we talked about that one last weekend. Okay, that's what I, I, was like, I was like, I knew it's recently come out. That, that's probably why I bought it, because we were talking about it. Yeah. Um, and then on eBay, I picked <coughs> up one called Mute Witness. You ever heard of this? It's from 2003. Mm -mm. I watch so many like movie review channels. That's pretty much mostly what I watch. If it's not, that's pretty much all I watch that. And like UFC, you know, uh, uh, stuff, but, uh, I got one called mute witness where it's this clearly a mute witness to a crime, but, uh, <laughs> the, the, the yeah. right. It's pretty self-explanatory. The, the, uh, the, the, the review of it was on Joe blow. They gave it a pretty great review. And I, I like Joe Blow. I like a lot of what they talk about. They talk about a lot of great movies. And then I, I I don't know that I've ever seen this movie, but it was a movie that was something else that we've watched is based on it. And I, I think it might be part of something Quentin Tarantino liked, but okay. it's The Bride Wore Black. Oh, uh, I've never seen it, but I, I know of it. I just bought a copy of it. It's a DVD, but it was like six bucks. And I was like, you know what? Let me snatch that up and throw it on. And I want to check this one out. Uh, my is, my is TV it, in here is making my DVDs look pretty nice, so I, I think I can handle the DVD. It doesn't look as good as the Blu-ray, obviously. It's Italian, but... isn't it? Is it Italian? I think so. Or... Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's European. It's, it's not. It's not uh, yeah. like Spanish or anything. Or if it is, it's not like you know Mexican Spanish. It's 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 European. But uh, yeah. from it's like a. I heard it was like a really great revenge movie, and I was like, what? And that Tarantino based. That's what it was. Is that Tarantino based Kill some Bill. of his Kill Bill stuff on it? Yeah. And I do I watch that 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 new guy we just discovered? Yeah. The guy we just discovered, uh I watched his thing on Quentin Tarantino. That's actually how I discovered that channel was through Tarantino stuff and uh I I it made me want to go back and watch all his damn movies again. I was like, "Oh my god, I got to watch all these <laughs> movies again." Yeah, listen to I haven't Joe watched Rogan. Tarantino stuff in a while except for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and then we watched the uh death proof fairly recently but like yeah. besides that i haven't watched any of his stuff in a long time because i've seen him so many times but yeah, uh i'm gonna here. go i think i'm about to do all of them again i think i'm gonna start with reservoir dogs and go right through all the way up to i haven't only seen um i've seen hateful eight a couple of times i've seen django i think only once or twice i think hateful eight i've seen a few times i think Django's one i've seen once or twice and, and glorious bastards i've only made it through that movie one time i didn't really? like it the first time i watched it i need to rewatch it because I see, I keep seeing clips now that, as a different thirty-nine-year-old person and not twenty-nine, I appreciate the clips more. Especially talking to Josh about it, because you put it in a different light, so I look at it a little different. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's by my well, among my top three Tarantino's. I don't know where exactly. I don't think it'll ever be in my top half, but I want to watch it again. 
because yeah. I mean, even his less movies are better than most people's best movies. So, yeah, you know, that's my favorite. Oh, is it your favorite favorite? The top number one? Yeah, I knew it was up there for you. Have you yes. seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? And if so, how how high how high is that rank for you? Have I seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I don't know why I said seen. What? Yes, where, where I've do you seen put it that a few times. <laughs> uh, it's like it's like right in the middle for me. Really? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I, when I, I asked that, I was hoping you would ignore that I said that and then just go on to where you place it. That's why I said it so fast. Sorry. I said it and I was what? like, wait, 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 that's not what I meant. And I was like, let me try to fucking. <laughs> uh, no, like, it's like no, uh, I just didn't watch that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Glorious is one. I, I think Pulp Fiction is two. Um, and then like maybe Hateful Eight or, oh no, yeah. I think hopefully I forget. I have it on my letterbox. I have Dude, my all I get so much crap it. for my top Tarantino films because <laughs> my list is so not what most people think of when they think his best movies. Because Death Proof's like in my top three. I'm yeah, that's see that. Yeah, I liked it more because we watched it again for yeah. the show, but yeah. it's still the bottom of my list. I, well, you know what? The thing about it is this: is that at least I know that when I say something like that, that my two best friends know that I'm actually being genuine and not trying to get yeah. some shock value. Yeah. Because I've told people that they're like, "Oh, you're just trying to be different." And I'm like, "Oh, you're clearly not, not the person for me to talk to about this because I don't. I'm not going to convince you otherwise, and I don't have any reason to be different. I'm fucking different enough having face tattoos. And I don't need to talk about Quentin Tarantino's fucking unpopular movie. Like, he hates that fucking movie. By the way, I didn't know that. Like, Tarantino really? does not like that movie. I mean, he brought it up on Rogan the other day. He didn't really have anything to say about it, but well, apparently he's been on record saying that that's his least favorite movie by a lot, and but that. Also, they said that if that's the worst movie he ever makes, he's doing fine. So I guess he he doesn't yeah. like it much, but he's not like talking like, oh, it's a piece of shit. I mean, yeah, that's not his, you know, most, you know, well directed or well written or you know whatever movie. But it's yeah. great for what it I is. I think one of the reasons I like it so much is a I like Kurt Russell. That guy's fucking awesome. But I knew from Jump Street that he used uh, Zobel as the main girl, and I knew she was doing all that shit for real. And I was like, that's crazy because even he just talked about it on Rogan, dude. She was going yeah. 70 miles an hour in that car. That yeah, yeah. is insane to me, dude. Like, and that just makes me like it more. Plus, I just like it. It's just it's exactly the kind of movie that I like. It's the, yeah. not I don't know, man. He I think he did a great job making a bad movie, but not, if that makes any sense. Because yeah, it's like I mean, you can't have those people in your movie and it be that bad, especially when you're Tarantino directing it. But it, it it really did feel like if you you could probably convince somebody that it didn't know much about this stuff that it wasn't his movie. This is a movie that came out blah 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 blah. blah. It's very well made in that world. Yeah, maybe if there wasn't so many feet in it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can say that about like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for sure. I mean, that's got a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like. Good looking woman's feet, never much as the next guy, but goddamn, like <laughs> I'd rather have tits and ass in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Once upon a time in Hollywood, <laughs> I do think is probably in my top three as well. I think it's probably Pulp Fiction, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and then the uh, Death Proof, and then probably Reservoir Dogs. I like all this grimier shit better than I do, yeah. except that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood doesn't fit that mold. It's super classy, yeah. clean, and sleek. But it's just so pretty. Like, that's like the first 4K I ever really paid attention to, and I was like, God damn, that looks good. Like, I think Chris yeah. convinced me to buy it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I and I was just like, man, this thing it. is ridiculous, and it looks so badass on my big old fancy TV. I was like, this thing is so fucking cool. It just looks so good. I couldn't believe how good it looked. Like, mm -hmm. and he's does he still do? He still uses film, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's awesome, won't dude. Touch Editing digital. that must be a fucking pain. I mean, the way Ugh. he made it sound on Rogue, like he loves it. Like he, yeah, it's like one of his sound like one of his favorite things about making movies is what editing it, editing and putting it all together. Like, yeah, have like, fun with that, Quentin. Yeah, like <laughs> Joe, Joe kind of like was more on like what you're sounding like, like oh man, like it must be a pain in the ass to like put all that stuff together. And Quentin's like, no, it's it's awesome, it's fun. He's like, yeah, I have lackeys that do that for me. I just tell them what to do. It's great. We have a, we have a blast. <laughs> Probably so. I mean, I dude, he definitely has his hand in it. Oh, for sure. To, I was uh, just being stupid, dude. He's so, so meticulous. I can tell you right now that if you're an actor, he's probably fairly fun to work with. 
dude, I think anybody else probably fucking hates their job, but it's so like, that's big to be on his film. So you mm-hmm. would just put up with it. Cause he's yeah. gotta be one of the pickiest people that's in movies, right? Like him, he's like Scorsese picky. Yeah. Scorsese's up there so. with them dudes that are like super meticulous. Right. Yeah. I don't know a lot about Scorsese, but I've heard that multiple times that he's like really, really meticulous. Yeah, I mean, they're both they're both like film historians. They know like every obscure thing about movies. So I want to watch those two guys talk in a room for like two hours with no outline, just talk movies, guys. <laughs> that Ooh, would be awesome. That would be very awesome. That would be amazing. I would buy tickets to go see that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think they both love the same era of film. It, you know, even Tarantino, he talks about sixties and seventies movies. Yeah, that's that's like his shit, and that's definitely where like Scorsese, you know, that's he awesome, kinda, dude. He kind of came up in that, but he, he right, loves right, those movies. Huh, man. Well, let's go ahead and cut this episode off here, man. And uh, I think we all have things to do tonight. I know I, I got to get ready to go to the movie. Um, yep. Watching Critters at Alamo tonight. So excited for that. I uh, I intentionally. Haven't watched my VHS tape because I was like, you know what? I just want to go. I haven't watched this movie since I was a kid. I was like, I, like, I want to go watch this one basically for the first time again on a big screen and enjoy it. And then I'll watch it with the wife whenever I'm positive it won't scare the shit out of her or something. I can't remember how much it, excuse me. I can't remember how like weird it gets and gory or whatever. So I was like, you know what? I'll just hold off on this one for now. But uh, cool. I'm telling you, man, they should have put that tire in that movie. <laughs> it would have been awesome. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time, man. Let me uh, uh, throw out my uh, pick oh, for Oh, shit. Week. Yeah, we got to talk about what we're watching this week. What are we watching this week? Hang on. My audio just cut out. Hang on. Thank you. Happened. Sorry, Josh. Uh, I hear you. Yeah, my, my AirPods just oh. disconnected for some reason. I don't know why. Dude, that's the only thing about Bluetooth that I hate. Is that sometimes, for no reason, it's just like, all right, see you. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of finicky sometimes. Come on. There it goes. All right. Uh, my pick next week is called The Limey. It's a I've heard about this, but I'm not Steven sure Soderbergh movie. The main actor is Terrence Stamp. It's on uh, yeah. Amazon Prime. I've seen this movie. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's like a 90-minute movie about a revenge, basically. No, this is a good movie. It's fucking awesome. Uh, wow! I'm, I'm always excited whenever you pick a movie that's kind of obscure that I'm like, oh, I've seen that one because it's only like maybe like thirty percent of the time. Most of them I haven't, but every now and then I'm like, yes, I've seen that one. This movie's, <laughs> man, I watched this one whenever. Uh, what's that one that's got the big fellow that played Beowulf in it? And it's also like a gangster movie. It's kind of you said you didn't really care for it much, but it was uh, it's got a weird name. It's um, oh my goodness. <sighs> God damn it. It's a uh, sexy beast. Oh, um, yeah. So when sexy beast came out, I was really big into like English gangster stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's when I watched the limey. Yeah. It's been it's a long time. Dude. I haven't watched this movie in a long time. I've seen it one time and it was cool. I remember liking it. It's one of those ones that like, I wouldn't have thought about unless you brought it up now that you did, I'm going to probably end up buying a copy because I know I like it. I think it's. I think there's like maybe a DVD out there, but I don't even think there's a Blu-ray of it out there. Uh, I had I it on VHS chance, but... when I had, when I watched it, so I know it's. Yeah. I know it's. I know it's probably fairly obscure because I haven't even heard the name of this in a long time. Yeah, I looked it up. There's a, there's a 4K digital, but there's huh. no like 4K disc. That's weird. Um, Very weird. Yes, it's one of those. I think it's Sony or somebody. They didn't. They didn't just didn't create a. Is it too small a movie? Probably. But oh, I, shit, you know, dude. I just watched that other Soderbergh movie that was on HBO Max. So I was like, ah, you know, there's still a bunch of stuff I haven't seen, and this one's been kind of on my radar for a while. So I thought it would be a good one for everybody. Holy shit! I get they have one copy on VHS from Amazon for two dollars and ninety three cents. I might just <laughs> buy that up just to have it. <laughs> <laughs> this was a cool movie, man. This is a good pick, Josh. Hell yeah! Cool. Nice. nice. Um. The DVD is only eight bucks. I might snatch that up just to, so it's easier to watch. But uh, two 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 ninety three. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, shit, man. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate your time. Um, 
on anything that's relatively horror related, I will be dropping it on both channels just because the shopcast goes on Chop 31. But if it's horror related, I'm going to drop it on Horror 31 too, just so people that maybe don't go to that channel will get to see this podcast and maybe they'll want to come check it out on the other channel and see other movies to talk about. But I always put in parentheses that it's a Shot 31 upload so nobody gets upset about it. I'm not, I'm not trying to screw anybody around or play the system. I'm just trying to be transparent. I'm going to upload it on both channels if it's horror related because it just that's what I want to do with my channel. I can do what the fuck I want. You don't like it, watch something else. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've gotten very comfortable finally with being like, okay, if people don't like what I do. I, when I first started doing this stuff, it was really hard to accept that because I worked so hard on it. And it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, but man, I work really hard. They should, dude, who gives a shit, man? Ain't everybody gonna like everything I do, no matter what. No matter how good I am at something, yeah. and I'm not that particularly good, that, at least not yet. I'm getting there. I'm decent at what I do. I'm not great. But I had to like really get over, you know what, you know what helped me is trolls, dude. Like people that troll me. Once I learned how to let that shit go, it, it it made me accept a lot of different things, and I was able to like just be more comfortable with criticism and low view counts. I just don't care anymore, man. I know that I'm going to be successful now. I see it; it's happening. It just takes a while, and it's fine. And I mean, I see the stuff you're putting out, dude. You've got great videos. I know you're going to get there. So I'm. I think in the future we're going to be doing what we want to do, and that's awesome. But uh, cool. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next week, uh, dude. Fucking limey, that's awesome. That one probably be just a shot thirty-one upload, but hell yeah, that's 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 a great pick, man. So everybody have a good weekend uh, or good night or whatever. I don't know what time it is when this comes up, so who knows? But uh, you know, <laughs> good whatever. Yeah, have a good fucking yeah something. <laughs> have a good fucking fuck. <laughs> All right, everybody. See you later. Peace. Bye.